So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Adesh Tiwari, and I'm a student of MSc Forensic Science at State University Bhopal. The research project I have conducted under the guidance of Dr. Deepak Bharti and Ms. Rinkal Chaudhary. Title of my project is the profiling of RNA degradation for estimation of postmortem interval in animal models. So as we all know, postmortem interval is defined as the time between physiological death and examination of disease. It is one of the most crucial part of investigation in cases of homicide, suicides, and for the uh, chain of custody and for the reconstruction of crime scene. But uh, currently, investigators are using a lot of classical method for determination of postmortem interval, which are dependent on a lot of different factors. This dependency is uh, makes these uh, classical methods unreliable and inaccurate because uh, many factors are involved here like temperature, pressure, the state of the uh, dead body and uh, the organisms involved there. Uh, so RNA degradation has been put forward as an alternative. Now the molecular study, molecular biology studies are uh, very modern nowadays. So we can uh, calculate the degradation of RNA uh, quantitatively through our technique. So uh, the degradation of RNA basically after that depend upon the rib ribonucleus activity. So uh, that is why RNA transcripts are selected for the study. And uh, we can uh, also determine the time elapsed after the death uh, because uh, this technique will act as a principal method for the accurate determination of postmortem interval. It is divided into four different stages. At first stage, we did the sampling through a dead, uh, dead body uh, or through a dead organism that uh, we used a fish here. And then after that, RNA was isolated from the sample and it was then converted to cDNA for further studies of RT-PCR amplification. We used CAPDH as a housekeeping gene in this project because uh, it is considered as one of the most uh, accurate target marker for RNA studies. So for methodology, the first step was the sample collection. We used tilapia fish. It is a common fish found here in uh, Madhya Pradesh region. The biological name is Oreochromus miloticus. And uh, there were 10 samples which are collected at, at every 30 minutes interval after the death of the specimen. And then they were stored immediately at the temperature minus 196 degrees Celsius to uh, stop the further degradation with time. Then uh, we extracted the RNA with the help of trisol method. Uh, first, the frozen sample was powdered, and then we used the standard trisol method to extract the RNA. We detected the RNA in each sample with the help of agarose gel electrophoresis uh, to, uh, uh, to know the quality of RNA in the sample. Then RNA was converted to complementary DNA uh, because we needed uh, we needed it to do the RT-PCR with the help of cybergene method. So we cannot perform RT-PCR directly on RNA. So we complete we retro transcribed it to complementary DNA. Uh, these are the three stages uh, of PCR: uh, the priming at uh, for five minutes at 25 degrees Celsius, then reverse transcriptase for 20 minutes at 40, 46 degrees Celsius and then revert transcriptase inactivation for a minute at 95 degrees Celsius. After that, we performed RT-PCR analysis uh, with the help of uh, ABI 7600 thermocycler uh, using the CyberClean method in which uh, our dye basically it, uh, con it uh, connects with the DNA strands, the complementary DNA which we have converted RNA from. And then this uh, dye is detected uh, and the CT value is calculated. Based on this CT value, the cycle threshold value, we have calculated the degradation of RNA in different samples. So these were the results. Uh, these for all the 10 samples, as you can see, the uh, first of all, the CT value, the minimum the CT value, the more RNA is present inside the sample. So RNA isolated from sample was, uh, was uh, can be seen in all the 10 samples. The CT value is increasing as the time elast after the death is increasing and uh, the positive uh, reaction is detected by the fluorescent signal in the cyberglean method and after that a graph was plotted between the ct values and postmortem intervals so the increase in ct value shows the degradation of uh, rna it is not uh, it is not that accurate because uh, sample size was a small it was a minor project and uh, in the last two samples, the RNA was lost completely. That is, a no uh, detection was there and no CT value was there. So uh, these results show the increase in every CT value and as the RNA sample is degraded. In conclusion, I would like to say that the result mentioned above uh, 
it shows that rna can be used uh, for the uh, for further studies in this uh, uh, in the post mortem interval determination and we can uh, uh, further experiment with human samples or different animals or specific organ samples we can not only determine post mortem interval with this method but also the cause of death age of death gender and body mass index uh, these factors can also have impact on rna inside uh, human body so thank you very much